brutally lovely. My core was on fire. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Emma. Emma! <laughs> that loaded upper body was brutal, but we loved it. <laughs> Good morning, it is Monday. Welcome back to the vlog. New vlog, new week, new us. Can you see yourself or you're looking out at them? Happy, happy. You wanna to talk to them? Huh? Yeah. Happy, happy. Oh, beautiful, you're so pretty. We're watching Thomas the Tank Engine. Gotta wait until it focuses. And Steven. No <laughs> Cheeky <bro. laughs> He's gone. Say bye. Bye. Bye, camera. Bye. No context. No context, just straight to the vlog. <laughs> Everyone welcome Tanya back to the vlog. She's not behind the screen. She's in front of it. She's a friend. Was <laughs> I not before? <laughs> kind of. Yum. We got some pumpkin soup. Did you get soup. two bread? Huh? Yeah, you get two bread rolls? Yeah. Are you going to go up and get another one? Can you get me one? Another? <laughs> she'll probably, if I go back up, she'll probably think that I'm... Carb loading or something. <laughs> Alrighty, we are in Adelaide. It is freezing here. It's currently 14 degrees, but we've just landed. We're waiting for our shuttle to go pick up our hire car so we hired a car for the four days that we are here just because it's going to be a lot easier to get to and from places um but yeah airports are still making me wear masks so that's why we are doing so don't come at me in the comments that's just a thing in australia still but yeah other than that my nose is red my fingers are dead and i'm ready to go to bed we're gonna pick up the car and then head and check into our hotel and then we're gonna plan out a couple of days. I feel like we should sit down and plan what we're actually gonna do because we have a whole list of things we wanna do, but no actual set plan. Yeah. Tanya literally, <laughs> she didn't even, she wasn't even going to bring a puffer. And I was like, Tanya, it gets down to like five degrees. She's like, oh, I probably should get it. No shit, she's got like 10 vest. of them. I got a puffer vest. Nice. Yeah. Anything else? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Right, so we've just checked in to our little hotel room. I am packing my stuff away like the OCD person that I am. Tanya is looking at Instagram photo inspiration. For herself, she wants to create a full feed of Radelaide. Radelaide. That's what they call it. We have booked in to go to Strong in the morning at 8.30. 8.30 at Henley Beach. I don't know where that is, but. I saw a picture of it before. <laughs> That's that. I am going to keep putting my stuff away and then we should probably head out and grab some food. Unless you want to get room service or just go to the hotel. Either or I don't mind. What do you want to do? Um, not my decision. <laughs> not my decision either. Yes, it is. This is your trip. <laughs> this is what I have to live with. <laughs>
Oh, what is it? What is it? Alrighty. Dinner, fresh off the oven. <laughs> we got the crispy chicken Betty's burger. It's literally just across the street from our hotel with some fries. We're gonna put on KK. Kardashian. Is that what KK is? Yeah, Kim Kardashian. <laughs> KK, we're gonna put on KK and we're gonna have our food. Good morning. It is Thursday. Thursday, and it is the 9th of June. <laughs> My birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tanya's birthday today. She's 29. The ripe, <clears throat> rotten 29. <laughs> <laughs> we are heading to our strong class. It is upper body, loaded upper body and core today, which is going to be amazing. Tanya's so excited to <laughs> die. I've really done well. Um, so we're going to do that and then we're going to grab some brekkie at Henley Beach, come back to the city. Hopefully the traffic is gone because look at this. That's, yeah. that's not fun. Find another way. That's it's not a good a time. Way. And then we are going to head down to McLaren Vale and Silic, Silic's Beach. Silix Beach. So we're gonna go down that way for the day. There is a little bit of blue sky and a lot of cloud. So <laughs> yeah. fingers crossed there's a little bit of sunshine while we're there to experience the beautiful way. South Australian beaches. So we'll see. But that is our plan for today. Let's get going. Yeah, my shoulders are Honestly, that loaded upper body was brutal, but we loved it. Six seconds up, six seconds down. It was, it was full kilos. on. <laughs> Did you have three yeah. kilo dumbbells? Yeah. Tanya Mitchell, honestly. I want to have a quick look in this shop that's right at the bottom of our hotel. It's called Off Duty. And I feel like it's going to have some good stuff in it. When it goes, jump. Please. No, I think you meant to do it when it goes down. Let's mean? jump anyway. 10, 11, 12, 13, 16, 17. of this whole plate when I started. Just so you know. I can down a good old, well, half down it. You're not gonna finish? Mm-mm. <laughs> got one more bite in me. I just <laughs> broke it off then. Alrighty, we are at dinner at Part Time Lover. This is the menu. It is so beautiful out here. It's stunning. Not at all. Yeah. I, just, I heard you're raving about it. Love it. Love it. So we may or may not be riding home on the scooters. We said we were going to walk. Helmet safety. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a very good time. All right, we're back in the hotel. I didn't take you guys shopping with us, but I probably should have. So listen up. We got back from Strong at breakfast. Beautiful spot. Really good. I had the best chai latte I've ever had in my life. We'll be <laughs> going back there tomorrow morning. <laughs> and then we kind of got back home. I had a shower. I actually washed my hair and then blow dried it after because I don't want to be in the Adelaide weather with wet hair. I just get, I would get a cold straight up. Um, and then it was like midday and Tanya was like, mm, do you really think we should go to the beach today? We probably don't have enough time. Pretty sure we would have had enough time to be honest because dinner isn't until 6.30. Yeah, but by the time we get there, so it's an hour trip down and then an hour back. And then like three hours taking Tanya's photos. Just exploring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're actually going to do it Saturday, did we say? After yeah. the workshop. Yeah. So after the workshop, we'll head down that way and then we actually don't have any plans for Saturday night, which is good. Um, we'll just make our way back here. So we'll go to Betty Burgers. <laughs> yeah, we've had Betty Burgers twice in the past two days. <laughs> Surprisingly, not my choice. <laughs> I know, I've really enjoyed my Betty's burgers. <laughs> and we do have a full 
little bar like fridge bar yeah. of snacks and good food too but anyway we went shopping i got some tweezers and things from david jones like little eyebrow cutters a little facial hair like plucker basically so i got that i got a little makeup bag because my other one broke but i just got that one for target it was a little six dollar fifty bad boy and it's great i love that uh we got some popcorn from a little local popcorn shop i got some leggings just because i didn't pack enough leggings to come here so i just went and bought some from the shops just to hold me over until then we are working out again tomorrow at strong and then we are going to be going to the gym probably tomorrow as well because we have access to that game ready performance gym Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I kind of want to go each day. Tanya hasn't worked out this much in a long time. Yeah. Yeah, I think she's popped her shoulder out, to be honest. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> we'll go to the gym, and then I also got Levi's. It was great. It's a great shopping experience, really. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to play some Spot It. I found out this game from Cass Olholm. Cass Masters actually. We were playing it, it absolutely ruined Steve and I. Cass was so good and we're both so competitive so we were both getting so angry at Cass winning. But I'm going to teach Tanya how to play. Basically what happens is that you have a shitload of these cards and on each back of the card they've got multiple different images of things. Basically you split up the rest of the cards between the two players and you flip them over and you've got to get through your cards by matching up the images to the one that you have in your hand and the one that's in the middle basically like snap with the other person like you got to put it down you got to say the name of the image that you're talking about and that way you decide who actually gets it on time because there will be times where you both want to put down at the same time and when the person who doesn't get quick enough might not actually have another image that matches their card so it's just it's a lot but we'll show you anyway it's going to be a fun time so <laughs> I'm going to set you guys down we're going to Tanya's going to get you like get into it but T's good at She's good at games. She's good at card games, so I reckon she'll be good. I get competitive because I get annoyed at myself. That's why I get competitive. And I also don't like people that gloat. I'm super competitive, but I'm also someone that when I win, I don't gloat. Yeah. Like, I win and I'm like, phew, all that pressure on myself is gone. <laughs> Not like, oh yeah, who's the best? I get like that if I'm winning towards the end. Of you the game. gloat. <laughs> yeah. You're a gloater and it pisses me <laughs> off. All right, ready? Yeah. So we'll just do like a real chill, like, I mean, we'll just keep going chill. Okay. So you flip them and you look at like what is here and what is here, and I literally have nothing. Neither do I. No, I do. Jeez. Yes, exactly. So there'll always be one that you're like, gotcha. I don't have it, but then you actually do. Because they're all I. sizes. Igloo. Oh my god, stop. I know, <laughs> cheese. No, I got that! Cat. <laughs> yeah, so this is this is <laughs> This is how oh, it's high cat. strung. Nice. Nice. COVID. Wait, was that COVID? Germs. <laughs> oh. Cass was calling it splat the other day. <laughs> I was like, it's not splat. Oh fuck, you only have two left. What the Key. fuck? Key. Key. <laughs> A horse? Is that a horse? Snowman. Ah! That's, what you That's it. Isn't it good though? Right, he says, it's good because sweaty. <laughs> it's good because it's like it's one of those things. You don't even need to shuffle these, honestly. Yeah. Um, but it's good because it's one of those games where like I felt like when I calmed down, I did better. When yeah. Steve got hyped up, he did better. It's like it's like, different for everyone. Like Steve would be sorry. up here like this, and he's like. Cat! <laughs> like he would be so full of it and yelling and Cass oh. was just like yep this 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 she would get she would literally like, have yeah. rolls of like 10 in a row <laughs> like you know how I had like maybe three yeah. that I put down in a row and then I had to like chill for oh, a bit Cass would go thing. down for 10 <laughs> it was hard but it's the easiest game as well for people to learn yeah all right yeah. ready yeah ready. three two one snowman bomb bomb no Clock. Fucking hell. Turtle. Turtle. Go. Go. Nice. Dolphin. Carrot. Carrot. <laughs> you get so aggressive when you put it down. <laughs> carrot, so Exclamation point. They're really close to you. How <laughs> close is it? Apple. Hammer. Hammer! Ah! Carrot. Carrot. Good morning, everyone.
everyone it's friday and uh, i had the worst sleep of my life i don't know if it's me adjusting to steve not being in the bed with me or whether this hotel just has very average beds but i'm tossing and turning constantly but we are ready we're about to go to strong and well actually we're gonna go get that chai latte first and then we're gonna go to strong and come back here, go to the central markets and just start our day. So very excited for what you have today. We have some kind of plan, which we didn't have yesterday. That's it. Checking in, checking out. See you soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not actually laughing. Yeah, I don't even know what you're laughing at. <laughs> oh, do you know why I hate this song? What is it? This. Oh, I haven't heard it. Overpass Graffiti. Why? Because the music video, it's so bad. It's literally Ed Sheeran, like, as a vampire flying through the city. <laughs> it? It's fucking so weird. Anyway, we're done at Strong. It was brutally lovely. It's very brutal. I couldn't, my core was on fire. That plank? I'm yeah, usually really wrist. good at planks, and that was hard. Yeah. And then I was so sweaty, and I'm like, oh, I already blow dry my hair yesterday. No, but for real, is anyone... Wash. Anyone who trains a lot and wants to get into the process of washing your hair less, there's a spray from Bum Bum. Bum Bum? No, Blonde Blonde. <laughs> Bum Bum. <laughs> Don't look that up. It's literally called a post-workout spray. You spray it in your hair and then you just hair dry it over the parts that are sweaty and it's like good as new and you're good to go for the day and it doesn't stink and it doesn't feel gross. You know what? I should be putting this in my favorites. It's called Bumble and Bumble. I was close. Yeah, you were close. Bum Bum. Post-workout dry shampoo mist. Voila. I may or may not have, Steve and I may or may not have purchased a car for myself in the US. And it's my first ever brand new car. It's my first ever nice car. Like, I love my car right now, but I wouldn't classify it as like a... Like a, it's second hand. Like it's one. like 2014. Yeah. This one's new. This is 2022. 2022. <laughs> this is a 2022 model. I think it's 2022. It might be 2021. Nonetheless, it has like 13 miles on it. Steve just picked up my car from the dealership and I'm obsessed with it. He's sending me photos. It's so nice. I'm not even going to show or tell you guys what it is until I get to America because want to experience it and, <laughs> and tell you guys when I actually see it in person. Uh, fingers crossed I ever get to America because that would be a shit show if I didn't. It's I'm like manifesting it. it, putting it out there to the world. When I get to America, I will show you my brand new spanking car. She's so beautiful. I don't know what we're going to call her. Betty. No. Why would we call her Betty? You guys might have seen it on Steve's Instagram story, but the other night when we were heading to Haley and Tanya's birthday dinner in the valley, I went in to close Betty up for the night. And it was really weird. I walked in. I'm really going to try and tell you this story as it, as it came to life because it was a heart stopper. So I walked in and she was freaking out. I'm like, that's really weird. Betty and me are besties. Usually she runs up to me. She's so excited to see me, but she's not freaking out. I knew she was freaking out. I'm a mum. I know these things. So I was like, that's really weird. Why is she freaking out? Like she was like squawking and trying to fly within her like big cage. Well, she's not a cage. Well, a coop. Within her coop. I was like, oh fuck, there's an animal in here. Like there's an animal in this coop. I don't know what animal I'm going to be dealing with here, but there's an animal. Betty unfortunately lost... Uh, eight of her siblings not too long ago due to foxes getting into the coop so I assumed it was going to be a fox so I walked in and I had I didn't have anything on me I kind of just went in bare I was like I'm gonna fight this fox anyway so I walked into the coop and I was like that's so weird I can't see anything and then I went over to her to pat her she sits in the very far corner there's like 10 different because there were nine chickens there's one now um, there's 10 little nests basically that they can sit on um, and each is separated by like a little frame which is really good for them so they've got like a little private thing but she always sat on her nest right down the very end and right down the very end it's got literally a, a little walkway from where she sits all the way up to the feeding area where her water and her feed is and then it goes all the way out outside basically into the door that I close each night so I was going in and closing the door so I closed the door I went over to her to give her a pat 
and she was still freaking out I'm like what's going on and she wasn't going into her seat where she was I was basically there but she wasn't going there and I'm like I kind of cleaned it up I put a little bit of like hay on top of it to kind of you know make it I don't know enjoyable comfortable for her and then all of a sudden I literally look down to me and there's a snake I'm not even shitting you like 30 meters 30 centimeters from myself it was a big it was a big carpet python which is harmless in Australian standard but it would eat my chicken for sure so I was looking down and it literally was it had its head like towards me and I freaked out and I said I yelled out to the boys because Alec was staying over I'm like Steve Alec there's a snake there's a snake weirdly enough the owner of this property that I am living at has messaged me multiple times and said oh have you seen a snake yet I'm like no like fingers crossed I don't have to deal with a snake on the property he's like I used to deal with one every month in the chicken coop or around the chicken coop because they know the chickens eggs are there and they want to eat the chicken eggs um, and I was like, oh, well, that's so funny. I've been here six months, haven't dealt with it. Literally, the last night that Betty was there, because I move out in a week's time, the last night Betty was there before she went to her new home, a snake was in her coop. And it was a, it was a big one. At least, it would have been over two meters long. Steve came in and Alec came in. And Al kind of like used the shovel to get the snake to go under, under the coop which is still within the coop. There's no way for that snake to get in or out without that side door open. So that snake's probably still in there to this day because I didn't open that gate. I think I left the front door open of the coop where I walk in, so I'm sure it's probably gone into my gardens. Um, I hope so, because I didn't want to kill the snake. Steve came in and started filming on his phone. I took Betty out, so I picked her up and I actually put her in Lulu's dog travel kennel. Kennel? Crate. Yeah. So she's got a travel crate that I had to basically crate train her in so that when I do move to America, she's quite safe within her crate. She feels comfortable within her crate because that's obviously what they travel in. So I put Betty in there and she got picked up the next morning, but she has been rehomed and taken to a place down in Canungra somewhere. Um, this lady's actually a friend of the owner's... Um, the owner of the place that I was living in super lovely they grow all their own veggies and everything they have chickens already and apparently if you introduce a chicken at night time when they wake up all together because their brains aren't that switched on if you introduce a, chick a chicken into the coop at night time when they wake up they don't fight it's like that chickens al oh. always been there just because they're not smart and they they wake up next to them they're like oh yeah they're gonna give me an update soon send me some photos but Betty's now living her best life on a farm and not dealing with snakes anymore. Story aside, we are heading to the markets. I'll let you guys go. I've been chatting your ear off. This vlog's going to be so long just because I'm so chatty recently. Uh, fuck. All right. Long now. See you guys soon. I'll leave you be. Chicken. 
and just some spring rolls, but yeah. I think we made a good decision. Just stream ready. When are you guys opening? Um, hopefully in a couple of weeks we'll be able to start selling. Okay, so I can I can tell people that? Yeah, pump it up. Okay, cool. Because I've been saying it's a secret, but I yeah. haven't been telling them when it's opening. It's definitely not a secret anymore. <laughs> We've spread the word enough. So. Awesome. <laughs> this is such an epic centre. So this is just the basketball area. But wait until you come into the gym. So this is like next level state of the art performance gym. What have you got here? Eight squat racks? Or it's all kind of connected in. Yeah, so we've done one big Three, three. Oh my gosh. We'll have to walk you through the recovery session. We've got, like, oh, yeah, no. done. Got the dumbbell set up. Oh my gosh, I'm actually so upset that I don't live in Adelaide to experience this every day. Happy for you guys, but sad for myself. I love this. I love that you've got all the basics too. Like you can come in, well, be completely weight our, focused. Yeah, this was our foundations. Like this is how we wanted to start. So we're gonna add, we're gonna grow. We're not gonna stop here. We're gonna take over. Wow. Look at this space. Look how big this is. We've got the high price recovery and these guys are huge on recovery. So, so this is oh, this is epic. We've got like contrast stars at the back. Us playing balls through here. Oh. Full spectrum infrared sauna and a wellness room that we're working wow. with. Wow. This is so sick. <laughs> I'm so upset. <laughs> this is so cool. This oh my God, I would spend all day every day in this gym. Just, I, I wouldn't all, leave. Just in this section. Legit. <laughs> um, so obviously we're not quite finished yet, but we do have a shower block through here as well. Because we didn't want anybody to get too sweaty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not have something to shower off with. So we've just got to get the part, the dividers and everything. Yes, like love it. We're, we'll be up and running and we'll be finished. Oh, this, this is exciting. The females one. Yeah. The females one. We'll try love it. Some plants and whatever. Look at Jerry. <laughs> Spice it up. That's it. This is so cool. <laughs> cool, you guys, before it even left. We are on our way to our escape room. We booked a mysteries escape room and it is going to be... Well, I don't know how good it's going to be because I've never done one before. Neither. But I think it's going to be great. We just went to Game Ready, as you guys saw. I did a massive run through. I can't speak more highly of that place. It is insane. Like, that is a haven. I swear. I swear to God, if that was in my home area, I would pay whatever I needed to pay just to be a part of that because... It's next level. It's going to have physios. It has a whole sports science and testing room. It has massage areas. It has an athlete lounge where people can sit and do work, watch TV, do whatever the hell that they want. It's got a massive, obviously, performance and functional area. Um, it's got, like, a cooling down mobility area. It's got a full recovery area with sauna, spas, like, infrared sauna and, um, like, magnesium spas and then also ice baths. It also has like fully decked out showers and obviously change rooms and locker rooms and stuff. And then it's got a massive friggin' like five net basketball court with all of these shooting rings to the left of it with a full like little stadium onto it. Like, yeah, they said the flooring was like proper. The flooring was imported from Germany. <laughs> yeah, it's like proper NBA. What the hell? It's actually really sad. I was saying to him, it's sad that I can't, I can't train here. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm literally cities away. Tanya got her hair dry, hair blow dried. I got my nails done. Don't look at that stumpy one, it's disgusting. <laughs> I got my nails she done. Is a little stumpy. Can we bring the camera into the thing? I don't see why we can't, it's just gonna be us. True. Solve the mysteries. Maybe we give away the mystery though. And then people would know how to. Well, if they wanna do it, skip ahead. <laughs> hmm. Wow, the city's really, there's lots of people when they finish work. Yeah, what is everyone doing? What, what are you are doing? doing during the day? I guess it's a Friday night. Yeah. Alright, we need to find a park and then we'll talk to you later. Alright team, well in that case, if you want to get the uh, flashlights ready. Yeah, because uh, like I said, it is pretty dark in the start. <laughs> Alright, guys, let's get you in there. Alright team, <laughs> head on inside. Are you ready? <laughs> Yeah, what do we do? Well done, Lucy. I need to be sure it is you, though. Remember the games we played traveling the Nile. I would leave messages in your own hieroglyphic code for you to find. I still have the photo we took at the pyramids on the desk. You always did say the pyramids were key to unlock the secrets of the Egyptians. Oh, right, and don't you eat all my biscuits.
Oh my gosh, so that was actually like the best thing that we've ever done. That was so fun. This, this has been the highlight of our Adelaide trip. We're Queenslanders and it's just been so good, but we made it, we've made a mess. I'm not gonna show you too much because I don't wanna give you the clues <laughs> if you ever come in, but it was amazing. Oh, so we found fun. our calling. We're detectives I of ancient Rome. I actually doubted myself a lot. I didn't think I was going to be very helpful. You were great. You guys did, you guys did really well. Like Dream was, team. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Hey, Jess, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having boys just made us a chai latte. I'm about to organize a post. I've got some snacks. I've got a banana, a little bar and a mandarin and a stringer. If you don't like string cheese, we can't be friends. Um, but yeah, I'm just sitting down here. I'm going to sit and stretch for a little bit while I do some work. Um, and then we're good to go. Shout out to Nara. She's amazing. She's so beautiful. And Matilda. I love you both. Thank you very much. Cold to function. So where are we off to next? Home, you wanna go home? Home, home is next. All right, come to the beat. Get the car ready, we're going home. <laughs> well, we are at the airport and we are about to go home. We're just at the Virgin Lounge. We barely did anything this morning. We just hung around in our hotel until it was time to check out. Um, and now, yeah, we're here. I got my nails, my toenails painted. We got a massage on the massage chairs, which is great. Um, and I'm just trying to organize our pollen sage shoot that is coming this week. But basically, we're flying for the rest of the day. So I am checking out of the weekly vlog now. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you enjoyed coming to Adelaide with T and I and seeing a lot more of T in front of the screen instead of behind the screen. Get used to it, it's happening a lot. A lot more now anyway. Hope you guys have a great week. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.